Good evening, Iskandar Razak with ABC News. The state government is promising to return more than $100 million owed to Victoria's public transport users. Money left on expired or inactive Mikey cards has accumulated in the government's coffers. It's the latest issue for the trouble plague system which could be scrapped by the end of the year. It's part of life in Melbourne. Mikey cards are tapped on and off millions of times a day by Victorians. Now it's emerged the government's holding on to more than $104 million left on expired or inactive cards and it's up to users to claim it back. Absolutely the onus is on Victorians. Really the government should be making an effort to get that money back to the people that own it. 42.5 million Mikeys have been sold since the system was rolled out in 2009. 30 million of those are no longer active. For some reason, Mikey cards expire after four years and although you can get the balance transferred or refunded, uh, a lot of people don't bother to do it. In other cities, commuters can use a credit card or their phone to tap on. But here, most commuters still need to top up a Mikey card to travel. The public transport ticketing system is currently under review. But phasing out Mikey wouldn't mean people lose unclaimed money. You would hope that the government is looking at uh, that upgrade including uh, a, either a longer expiry time or cards that just don't expire. But Victoria's transport woes don't end with Mikey. Taxi availability and pricing is continuing to cause concern at the Australian Open. What's the difference between a taxi driver coming here, doubling the price and Uber trebling the price because of what they call surge? What surge? You sort of have no option really, no option at all but wait. I don't think it's fair at all. No, so. not at all. It's happening way too much now. Teams of compliance officers from the taxi regulator Safe Transport Victoria have been here checking accreditation and doing safety inspections. Now there are reports some taxi drivers are avoiding the Australian Open altogether. Well, the reading very clearly is that the drivers who are avoiding it know very well that they've been doing the wrong thing. They might also know that the officers won't tolerate that. The state government says people should rightly expect to get home safely from a major event. But at the Australian Open, that seems to come at a cost. Nicole Asher, ABC News, Melbourne.